Billy. Yeah. You're here down in Oceania. You just finished New Zealand. I did. I've seen some TikToks of the show. It looks incredible and so emotional and exhausting. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is obsessed yeah. with it. Like I've just it's been my entire for you for you page. How's it felt for you being back on tour down here after a big hiatus after COVID? Oh my god, it's it's so nice. Mm. I've been missing Australia too. Like this is one of my I, I feel like I've only had good good times out here. Oh really? Yeah. So Truly been, good times. Yeah, I've been excited to come back. And mm. having not been able to do a show for almost two years was like really scary. Really? Yeah, Why? Just like, because of all the things in my life that I love and feel are who I am and what I want to mm -hmm. do, like performing is the thing that I, I'm i like, this is stupid, but like made for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I just know. like, I just, it feels. It's what I like the most, and mm -hmm. the, the the way that I feel the most like is how I, I like where my I don't even I don't even know how to describe it, but what we feel like the most authentic self, or yeah. where you like yeah, can... it's like the most me. It's the, the the version of myself that I want to be the most. I yeah. Guess. So without without it, it was really hard. I like lost yeah. who the fuck I was. I was like didn't know what the hell to do with myself. What did you do with yourself? I don't know. I did a lot of stupid things. I was you know, <laughs> I was I was I was just I was just lingering. Yeah. Lingering and lingering and just this is what I was doing. And in indefinitely every as well. Of my life. Yeah. Not knowing when you'd be back on. Mm -hmm. So you don't doing seventy seven shows this tour. Oh my god. I know. I complain about god, five radio shows a week, that. babe. A lot I'm of like. Shows. <gasps> Oh, two hours a night's too much for me. How are you not going to burn out? Is it because you feel the most yourself when you're touring? Yeah, because the show, like the show itself, especially the show I'm doing right now and mm -hmm. this, this that I've been doing this year, is is the best show I've ever done. It's it's like my favorite show I've ever done. Mm. It's so fun. It's so good. If mm -hmm. I can be honest, like I feel I'm really judgy on the stuff that I do, and like mm -hmm. I feel so proud of this show. And I feel proud of myself and sure. I just feel, I feel really good about it. And yeah. it feels, I mean, it is exhausting. So there was a little, there was like a period of time in like, like the end of this like European run that we just did. Mm -hmm. I was a little, I was a little burnt. Yeah. But then I was home for a second, got to kind of take a breath, mm -hmm. start over and then went to Asia, started up again. And then I only had a few shows out there and then came here and I feel I feel good. You feel good. Yeah, I don't how feel do you, burnt. How do you recover in between different different cities and different countries? Like, what do you do for yourself? Do you meditate? I read in the Rolling Stone article you hate silence, and I do as well. <laughs> so I'm like, what do you do? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just, like, exist. Like, the only way to, like, get through everything is just to get through it all, mm, you know? Totally. So I just... I just be getting through it. <laughs> yeah. And you have yeah. been since you were 16. 15? 15. 15. 14, I don't know. And you, I mean, forever, basically, mm -hmm. the, the, your whole ad adult ishhood, even childhood. Yeah. And I read in that Rolling Stone interview that I fucking loved. It was so amazing. I was like writing notes on it, being like, this is so incredible. Um, I think it was the end of last year, was it? Middle of last Middle year. Middle of last year. Um, and you said that, you know, you didn't really get a childhood. You said you wanted to do kid shit and you get to do kid shit. And I'm wondering if you'll make space to do kid shit maybe in your <laughs> 20s later on, you know? Like I'm yeah. wondering if you'll try to do what you've wanted to do when you were younger that you couldn't because you were just yeah. working so uh -huh. hard. I mean, I got to do kid shit. I think that, that I might have sold, my, sold myself short a little bit there mm. because I, I had a great childhood. I really did. It's mm -hmm. just that I didn't. I didn't get to do like teen shit really. Yeah. That's more which what is it the was, most fun shit. Which is a very specific thing that I yeah. didn't really do. But also I don't know if I really needed to. Now that I get a little older, I'm like, I don't I don't feel that I I maybe I missed a couple things and like wish that I could have, but mm -hmm. what I got to do was way cooler than than what I could have done. That's the thing, isn't it? You know? Wow, but, gratitude queen. Yeah, but I oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like I I I feel that I have been I've been talking to a couple friends about this recently of like getting older and becoming more yourself. Mm. I feel like is truly all it is, is just getting more and more like yourself as a kid. And like mm. as you were when you were younger. Like I feel like the more myself I become, the more my like a old self I become. Yeah. Which is interesting. I feel like I've, I feel like I'm going back to who I was in a yeah. way. 
with while being the person that I am now, but I think like the older I get and the more I just like grow up and and change and things and like mm-hmm. I just feel like I'm I'm yeah, I was talking to a friend about this the other day of like we feel like we're like coming back to who we used to be and it feels really good. But right. it also feels new, you know? It's like it an feels, authentic like yeah, it feels really good. reinvention of who you were before. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. So did you see recently Paris Hilton? I can imagine you can't go out. Like you don't go clubbing, do you? I, I don't. I'm just, that's not really who I am. You don't also. like it? I just don't do it. Right. I like it every once in a while, but if I, I'm not, I'm not a partier. I'm not, I'm not a. Right. I have I'm a plan not, for I'm you though. Out. But I love parties though. Okay. I do love parties. Okay. And I love, I love the, I love dancing and I love, you know, being in crowded rooms and hearing loud music, but, but to an extent, I'm not, right. I'm not trying to be out. Mostly. Why? Just off it, yeah. Like I don't know. It's just not. First of all, I don't really drink, and mm-hmm. I don't like get high. And mm-hmm. you know, when you're kind of in that environment, it's I love it, and everybody seems so fun. But like when you're sober and everybody else isn't, it's, it's not that it's fun. It's not that fun. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic. Yeah, it does to, suck, to, and you watch, watch everyone and think, wow. The way that like like I feel embarrassed that I'm not <sighs> because I can't because I'm like you guys really. Whew. Yeah. If you knew how you were acting. But yeah. I also like, I like the vibe. I like the vibes. It's fun. Okay. You know, I like to dance. I like to have fun. But like, yeah, I just need it in moderation. I'm not, right. I'm not going to be out every day. I'll go to a party like once every couple months. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever feel like you don't, don't want to be Billie Eilish anymore and you can just go out and just yeah, go I on do like a Tuesday? Yeah, I do that, but I don't, can't really do that. I don't know where Maybe I, you can. When could I do that? Maybe you can, because I think, do you see Paris Hilton in disguise? With a wig oh, on. did she do Okay, that? so she went to like some festival in a disguise and it got it was so good that someone Sick. was hitting on her, right? And in that week, because I'm I mean, look, I'm like a little iota of a chip of sand compared to you in terms of like profile, right? But people get photos of me and I just Right, you got I, that. Yeah. I got a little bit, a little yeah, bit something, you, got you know. That, girl. Okay, and then that week I was out with my friend and they had a wig on. So I stole the wig and I ended up dancing in the gay bars with a wig and sunglasses on. And not one person asked Hot. for a photo. So if you want to borrow that mullet wig, maybe not in that color because it's too similar to your hair color right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Would you consider it? Do you think? Yeah, I've thought about it. I feel like the thing is though, like I have, to, there's parts of my face that I can't get away from. The eyes, the eyebrows, and the eyes. Mm-hmm. Because I'm telling you, like I- I've been in situations where. I'm wearing nothing you'd ever think I would wear. I'm wearing a full hat. You can't even mm-hmm. see my hair. I'm wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. But all you can see is my eyes. Mm-hmm. And people, I don't, it freak. it, it truly <laughs> freaks me out. Because I, I'm like, I couldn't look less like who, me right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the doctor's office. Why would I, why Bizarre. would you expect me here? And I'm in the elevator standing there. And I'm just like standing there like this and look up. Oh, that's a crazy looking bird. Damn, Where? he's having crazy birds. He's got a little treat too. He's trying to find a spot. To oh, it's just a magpie. Oh, it's is that just a magpie. magpie. That is swoop. Have you not been swooped yet? He looks like a skunk. Cutie. Yeah. Oh, cutie. And they take people's eyes out, you know. Um, but anyway. Anyway. I. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Yeah, I'm like in this elevator, and this girl just walked in, and she was like. Oh my God, Billy. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> like, it just don't, it freaks me out. And it's like, bless your heart for, for being such a, like, the vibe a is so G strong. that you know that it's me. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, it's you. But but how? I don't yeah. get it. I just don't get it. So a wig wouldn't help. Or like but, a sandy block from Bruce. I think maybe if I got Bruce. some like eye contacts. Maybe. Co- covered up, like, covered up my eyebrows. Some special effects. Yeah. I, th- I think the special effects are where it's at. Yeah. Like, maybe if I, I think if I changed my nose. I'd be pretty in good shape. Yeah. Maybe just too pretty. I don't know. Girl, it's like, no, no. And all, your, all your features are so nice and, distin- oh my God. and distinctive. I know. Um, I have one more question. Uh, my favorite song from the album is Your Power. Oh, it's on repeat. You. It's on my oh, Spotify. That makes me on repeat. It has been. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, thanks. When you wrote it and when you released it, were you kind of a bit nervous to do this kind of fuck you to these men in power mm-hmm. or people in power that take advantage of? I wasn't I wasn't worried about offending them. No, I no. wasn't. But I was I was worried that um, it might not people wouldn't necessarily like get it mm. really because it's a very specific topic and I mm-hmm. think that there's a lot of times when for instance like I, I have this ongoing thing that irks me and I don't know really what to do about it where like I'll put a song out where I'm saying something that I really think needs to be said. Mm-hmm. People are like, sick song. Anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, there's just not really, like, um, 
and I think this with uh, with a lot of other songs too, where it's like that I love that aren't me at all. That mm. I'm just like, guys, like listen to these, like listen to the words. Like mm. what what are we? Like do you yeah. hear what they're what saying? We actually, because yeah. let's let's actually listen and maybe change things. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I feel. And I was worried about that with your power of people just being like, oh, chill song instead of like actually listening to what I'm saying and. No, I think we all heard it. And I think people heard it, and it makes me feel really good. Sure. The, the response from that song live is really, makes me feel really good. Because yeah. it's, it's, I think it's, it might be my favorite song that I have as mm -hmm. well. And um, I, it's my favorite song to sing. I mm -hmm. really love singing that song, and it feels so good, and I feel really proud of the lyrics. And, yeah, I feel like it doesn't, if I can be honest, and like a little cocky, like it, it's, it's aged really well. It feels, mm -hmm. it feels a little timeless to me, and I feel really happy about that and For I don't sure. feel like that with a lot of my songs mm. and that one I feel like I think it hits every time yeah every, even on repeat I'm like it's starting again <laughs> thank you oh my god yeah, thank so you so much cool. for oh your god. time good luck with the tour thank you don't need it I'll be over TikTok. I'll see all the TikToks again I'll be like <laughs> she is my girl oh my like, god I'm on here for you <laughs> thanks so much Sick. Billy. thank you you're so pretty oh. <laughs>